Think about how grateful you would be if you found yourself on a tropical island. We want to send you to Aruba. It's like no place that else. That is right. That's why we're giving one of our lucky viewers the chance to go there on us. There is amazing snorkeling and scuba diving in Aruba. It's a diver's paradise with a bunch of spectacular undersea worlds to explore. But that is just the beginning. Buckle your seatbelt because we are going on an Aruban adventure. Of course, you can't come to Aruba without hitting the water. And this is Franco. You're going to teach me to do a little windsurfing. Yes, of course. All right, let's do it. First of all, we have to keep the wind in our back, the board in front of us. We're gonna hold the rope, one knee on the board, one feet behind the mast, and the other one in front of the mast. Once we are like this, we're gonna pull the rope up. We, we bring the mast close to us, one hand on the mast and the other hand on the boom. As soon as we close the boom, we're gonna have the wind, uh, the sail on the wind, and okay. we're gonna start moving. Let's gonna try on the water. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll right. go, let's go. <laughs> Once you've conquered riding on top of the water, you can try diving in. Now we have arrived at the natural pool. It's uh, actually the, one of the biggest attractions uh, in the natural resources that we have on the island. So the only way to get to here, you really need a 4x4 vehicle. Yeah, that drive coming out is best. Yeah. It's uh, interesting. It's yeah. an adventurous drive. People come up, they swim, they snorkel. Yes, you can either hike to here, you can bike to here, you can come on horseback or on a 4x4. So there's different ways to come. But usually, you know, it's hot. It's hot in Aruba, so it's a, the best place to cool down after this uh, adventure. It's a rock formation, actually, which sits at the coast. And uh, it shelters uh, the people that want to swim from the rough seas that we have here uh, all year long. And that's a natural formation? Yeah, that's a natural formation. It's uh, about a hundred million years old stone. How big is the park itself? The park is 32 square kilometers. It's, I think that's 34 acres. Oh, and I think Aruba has a lot more to offer than only the, you know, the sand and the sea. So we have other um, attractions and a lot of natural resources that we want to show off. So yeah, the park has most of them. You can also get up close and personal with the local wildlife, if you dare. There's a gecko right there. Hello, lizard. So we get a lot more light in these caves than I expected. Yes, uh, these limestone caves are about uh, two million years old, and uh, the action of the sea made these holes in the, in the ceiling, actually. Like skylights, yeah? Yes, the sunlight come in. Come in, but you guys also study stuff here. Yeah, we have a bat colony in the back, and we've been studying if they travel between other islands, like Curaçao and Bonaire, and we found actually some from Bonaire and some from Curaçao, so they travel the islands. Wow. Can I see the bats? Yeah, sure, let's. All right, I think I, I, I want to see the bats, I'm not sure. These bats are very important. They do the job that the bees should be doing it during the day. But our cacti, they bloom at night. So they are the pollinators at night. And then that's why our cacti depend on that too. So they're part of the ecosystem. Yes, they're not course. just uh, bats. And not just a part, they're like a pillar of the ecosystem. All right. It's amazing. It's not at all like what I imagined Aruba. I just thought, you know, beaches and palm trees, yeah. this is amazing. 